Ahoy mateys! And welcome back for another adventure! Alrighty friends, this week I am going to be doing predominantly a little bit of crafting. We need to make all of Red's accessories to go on this beautiful getup. And let me tell you, she's got a lot of accessories. This was a lot to keep track of. Alright, some things... It tastes like coffee. Because I forgot to put my cake again. That's disgusting. <sighs> so, some of Red's accessories I was lucky enough to not have to hunt too hard for. For one, her hip scarf. Super, super easy to find. This beautiful scarf. Not where it goes, huh? Whatever. Um, I got this puppy at Ross's for a whopping $12.99. It was originally $40 and it's by Calvin Klein. So it's actually really nice, really soft. Her edges are all a little tattered and fraying. Uh, I am not going to tatter and fray this puppy because it's a Calvin Klein scarf. Like I'm not gonna I mean, he ain't that bougie anymore, but he was super bougie when I was younger, and so there was some nostalgia there. Another thing that I was actually able to get completely intact was her beautiful emerald ring. She is covered in emeralds, and I think that that's kind of fun. I love that because, you know, green is a great color for redheads. But anyways, I got this on Amazon. Uh, it is a one size fits most because it's stretchy. Check this out. Like. And so I have thick fingers. And I can still pull that off. Another thing that was a no brainer. Um, I picked up some nautical rope from Dollar Tree. This comes pre-looped. I just kind of loosened the loops and then tied the ends in knots and it's good to go and attached to my backside. Dollar Tree folks. And then the last thing that I was actually able to get that requires zero alterations was for her bottom set of stays, she actually uses a belt. I'd originally ordered a really nice belt buckle from Etsy. However, unfortunately, because of the storm, it really wasn't able to happen in the appropriate time frame. And so to make my life a little easier, I picked this puppy up from Target it was originally $12 on clearance for $3.60. So it's a no brainer and it's quite long. I went with a two X because it sits about 42 inches long, which should be really enough to have that skirt pulled to my knee. So now on to the things that I have to create. Her waist belt her hat she has a second skirt hike and then she's got some jewelry hanging from her hip and she's got some jewelry around her neck so we have quite a crafting to-do list this week my friends hi come here oh we have some company <laughs> hello oh scratch Thank you. <laughs> they can't see you. Come here. 
Ani ayo Abis. Nyo mama abis. So, since we have a literal butt ton to do, I think we need to get to it. Meanwhile, butts literally refer to wine casks, so I kind of feel like for a pirate, that's rather appropriate. For Red's hat, I got this really cute floppy wool hat from Amazon. I think it was under 15 bucks, so it was a total bargain. And it was the perfect color. I mean, perfect. To turn it into Red's tricorn hat, all I needed to do was add a bias tape trim to the edges. And I reserved some of the bias tape left over from the stays to do that. I just kept like a four inch wide strip. So I'm going to attach the bias tape to the edge of the hat. I use wonder clips to hold everything in place. And as much as I don't want to do hand sewing on this hat, I kind of have no choice because I really don't want stitches to be visible on the outside of this. So, hand sewing it is. And then finding the center front of the hat brought those sides up and slip stitched them into place. I was not able to, however, find a really voluminous ostrich feather or set of ostrich feathers in the right color. However, I was able to find this 10 pack of ostrich feathers and piece them onto the hat in a way that looks hopefully just as nice. And then for the brooch that she has on the side of her tricorn hat, I found this ready-made brooch from Hobby Lobby. It was absolutely perfect at a whopping $6 that I got for 50% off. So for three bucks, I couldn't go wrong. And I am not going to complain, especially since it has a little brooch attachment already on the back so that I can just clip it into place and be done with it. And with that, Red's hat is ready to wear. Red's belt, however, is a little bit more tricky. So I've got a couple of pre-made belts just because going this route was a little bit cheaper than buying the leather belt straps by the yard or by the foot. I've also got some suede scraps that I have trimmed down to three inches wide as well as some extra little scraps that I cut down to um, half of an inch by seven inches so these can replicate the uh, little notches if I can't reuse these. And I reattached all of these pieces to make one belt. This was an extremely time consuming process because, you know, waiting on glue to dry.
I then figured out where this needed to be cut based on the halfway point of my waist. I'm gonna give approximately two inches for overlap there. Like so. I'm not going to attach this quite yet. I need to slip this onto it. And then I am taking my extra suede straps and I'm going to give each of these an additional belt loop. All right, I'm gonna do this exact thing to this one, and then I'm gonna let everything sit and cure. Now that the belt is all dry, I need to go in and add some hardware. All the hardware is in except for one because I lost half of it. I had it. It rolled off the desk into the abyss. So I gotta go get more. And then I really wanted to make the chains she all has on her hips as one piece. So I took these two pre-made chains and then I made a couple of pearl chains with some random pearl beads that I already had in my inventory. And I turned them into one chain with an alligator clip on both ends so that I could connect them to the coordinating D-rings on the belt. Each of these pre-made necklaces came with an alligator clip and so I connected them and then made sure that there was one on each side. <laughs> Red also has a Chatelaide full of keys, as every self-respecting pirate would. Um, I believe it is also a little homage to the key dog at the end of the ride. Uh, one of my favorites. <laughs> Um, and so I picked the pack of, this pack of keys up at Hobby Lobby. It was originally $8.99 and I got it for 50% off. 
So a whopping $4.50 for all these keys. I gave the O-ring a coat of rub and buff, just like all of everything else that got a coat of rub and buff. And reattached all of the keys onto it. And I also figured that her Chatelaine would probably consist of a compass like any self-respecting pirate. And since I found this really cute one, it was only a couple of bucks, I thought it was worth the ad. I also added an alligator clip to the top of her Chatelaine so that way I could attach it to a different D-ring somewhere else on my belt. To make my skirt hikes, the first thing that I had to do was dye them black. Well, dye it black. I uh, started off with this natural leather bracelet that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I just, I had read in a couple of places that you can dye leather using India ink. And since I already have India ink on hand, I decided to give that a try. And then after that, I went in and adhered the one end of the strap with my o with my steel rings encased inside the loop, and then just glue that all down using E6000. Um, and then I placed a couple of wonder clips. You could use binder clips too. Um, actually, I'm going to switch these out to binder clips because that's going to be stronger. Um, but I have been using E6000 to make my skirt hikes for years. Um, if you have like a, a leather glue, go right ahead and use that. There's nothing stopping you from using that. Um, or if you have, um, shoe goo if that's something that you already have on hand like for repairing your shoes that also works really really well um i don't like having to have eight thousand different adhesives lying around my house and i find that e6000 works really well most of my skirt hikes are at least a decade old and have yet to fall apart so it's my tried and true method um without having to have tons of stuff um, and at this point, it's just wait for these bad boys to, these boys to cure. And then they will be ready to add to my belt. Alrighty, my piracy friends. I shall see you in the next video. Okay, my piratey friends, thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope you had a fun fastic time. A fun, fun fastic? Is that a thing? I really hope you all had a fantastic time crafting with me this week as I finished my cosplay. Um, I'm really happy with the results of everything and I am looking forward to having an excuse to wear this cosplay intact which i know i do have a few coming up so i actually really look forward look forward to wearing this for the pirate night on my cruise hopefully <laughs> if i can fit it all in my luggage i may make some changes later down the line but for right now i think everything is fantastic and works for the functional purpose of what it's for so I want to do a little bit more folly, less Halloweeny, a little bit more folly things for the next couple of weeks. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm playing things by ear right now. I don't know. But anyways, uh, I am really looking forward to getting a little bit more into Halloweeny content. And I will see you guys next week for more shenanigans. <laughs>
so you remember last week how I spent like 20 minutes looking for the pre-cut out set of stays that were in black linen? Yeah, I just found them. Mm-hmm. This is my life. Yeah, what I don't know. <laughs> Definitely not what I intended. <laughs> <laughs> 